Oh, I didn't see you there. I'm Scout Swanger. I'm originally from Merrimack, New Hampshire, but I currently reside in New York City. And today I'm going to be making a chicken breast with apples and Gruyere cheese over mashed sweet potatoes with a side salad of arugula and walnuts. Let's get cooking. So I'm gonna start by preparing the sweet potatoes. And the first step is going to be to peel them because I don't like any skins in my mashed potatoes. And you can just peel them right into the sink for some easy cleanup. Once they're peeled, you can just dice them up and throw them onto a sheet that I've already prepped with aluminum foil and olive oil. Now just throw them on the baking sheet. Now I'm just going to cover these with some olive oil and salt and pepper on. It's also important to note that I've left some space for the chicken because it's all going to roast together for 30 minutes. Next, I'm going to prepare the apples in slices to stuff into the chicken. I actually picked this apple myself when I was back home for Thanksgiving in New Hampshire. We have ample apple orchards with some of the best apples in the United States. Gotta love a Honeycrisp. Now that they're all sliced thin, I can just move them over to this plate to make room for the chicken. I didn't even need this apple. Now the third step is to take a sip of wine. What a day, am I right? Now you're gonna grab your chicken from the fridge so you can start butterflying it. Butterflying sounds fancy, but it's really not that hard. You take your chicken, set it down, and just try and cut open like a book. And it's best if you use your sharpest knife available. Try and make sure you're not cutting too far in, but also giving enough room to amply stuff it. And that's just about perfect. Now, I accidentally made a hole in this one, but that's fine. That's why we have the aluminum foil. If any of the filling spills out, there's no problem. Now that they're all butterflied, I'm going to fill them with our Gruyere cheese and our sliced apples in alternating layers to get an even flavor throughout. So you're going to start with a layer of the cheese. And then because the cheese is going to be more pungent than the apple, for every one slice of cheese, we're gonna do two slices of apple. Now that the chicken's stuffed, I'm going to put it onto our already prepped baking sheet and I'm just going to lube it up with some olive oil and then season it with some salt, pepper, and a little bit of rosemary. Now let's get these guys into the oven for 30 minutes. Now you're gonna grab your butter so you can brown it for the arugula salad. And in the brown butter, we're gonna toss our walnuts with some salt and a little bit of cinnamon. So once the butter is just about browned, which is gonna look like just this, we're going to put our walnuts in, toss them out, and then season them with salt and just a little bit of cinnamon.
Now you're just going to toss these walnuts and brown butter in with the arugula and just fondle it a bit. Try to evenly disperse the walnut mixture with your greens. It's done. Time to check on our chicken and potatoes. Now I'm just transferring the chicken over to a plate so you can get the potatoes over to this bowl to mash. and throw in some cinnamon. And there we are. Thanks for helping me scout out this dish this week. I'm Scout Swanger, and that's my audition for Top Chef. <laughs>